Commander, additional control node chips located. A terrace, crater region. Arim, Tabora, Meridium. Please repeat last. Uh, what? Located. Control chips. A terrace. Outstanding. We should run another compatibility check with those things. What would you need to take control of these chips? A virus? Special control algorithms? Anything we haven't considered yet? Information insufficient for reliable projection. Why'd you have to say that now? Response to last inquiry accurate based on fact pattern. Great, but at what point is it a fact for you? 80%? 90%? Threshold for functional certainty depends on nature of query. Right, that's what I was asking. Okay, let's look for the chips in the terrace. Acknowledged. Nearest control node chips located ahead. Good. You follow me, I'll go on. We might come into contact again, so be ready. Preparations initiated. Complete. Sloping terrain detected. Soil analysis initiated. So... Contact. Additional agitators located. Imagine my surprise. So, what does your analysis show? Molten rock traces and elix deposits detected in soil. Deposits indicate impact by large comet approximately 151.4 to 170.3 years ago. No greater level of accuracy available. No problem, little guy. Critical risk. Recommend immediate evasion.
control node chips located. Compatibility unchanged. Looks like they were tampering with the ancient junk here. Acknowledged. So they hide the chips in old computers or other machines from the old world. Suggest electronic scrap selected due to suitability for hiding nodes from lifeforms without high frequency sensors. Machines have so many advantages. Still, we need to show the Skyans that we're finding their bugs. Acknowledged. Exact purpose of control node chips currently extrapolation only. We gotta be able to figure out a use for the chips, right? More information required. Couldn't we just strip down their weaponry, armor, and devices to do that? Control node chips account for a significant percentage of alien data processing capability. Analysis efficiency expected to improve with greater sample size. Well, then report back once you've managed to locate more chips. Setting sensors to receive. Listen, we need to talk. Azotha, Imothega, Amosua, Insolesta. Damn it! Not now, we need you! What's happening? Bad news. A horde of Skynet scouts are approaching our bastion. We have to take care of them now, or they'll overrun us. Shit! Here they come!
Feels like such humiliation. Huh. You really have no idea. Betrayed and expelled by your own people. That's humiliation. Must have been a trying time for you. It was. I believe you. But being attacked at home by the enemy, that's a terrible thing too. I think the stars these beasts won't be able to report back to their masters, or we'd soon have a garrison of sky ants to deal with. Are you sure they can't? Well, they are all dead. I'm starting to think they can do a lot more than we know. Maybe even telepathy. Ah, uh, enough of that. Let's try to stay positive, okay? How can we improve our situation? Look, you've, uh, been acting a little strange lately. Are you sick? Yeah. I should really do something about these blackouts. I'll take care of them when there's time. More of your comrades are needed. We should have at least five stationed in the Bastion at all times. I know recruits aren't easy to find, but I trust you to come up with something. You always do. A more effort. That's what we need. This mustn't happen again.
about that special weapon. I found everything you asked me for. Really? Well, let me see then. And more than one acid bladder. You will not regret this. But it's going to take me a little time to forge the weapon. Been thinking about this thing for years. Don't want to rush it. Come back in a week. Should have it done by then. A week. Quality takes time. Sorry. That's as fast as I can do it. Can't start today as it is. Look, get drunk and sleep for a week if you're that impatient, goddammit. <laughs> Might just do that. Outstanding. Can't wait to get started. See you in a week. a second. We investigated that outlaw hideout you told me about. There was no sign of them there. Looked like someone tipped them off we were coming. Well, we knew they were smart. So what now? Nothing. We drove them away. That'll have to do for now. Just thought you'd like to know how the investigation was going. I'll keep working at it all the same. See you around. About Ivan's groceries. Is the upper district accessible now? Civilians who have a guarantor are allowed back there. What? Since when? Since I made sure of it. It's about damn time. Then I'll straighten it out right now. You wanna come? You might as well take this stuff with you. I'll give you a few shards for being my pack mule. All right. I'll go with you. Let's go. It's good to get out. I'm sick of the smell of this place. You're lucky you don't have to run a business. Breathing the same air as these idiots every day? Ugh, it's enough to make you choke. Can't we pick up the pace? Just relax. It's good for the legs. This used to be the entertainment district. That's how the old Duke kept the peace. How'd you mean? Simple. Those who partied till all hours didn't get off their ass so quickly in the morning. That kept the streets clear. But I want to show you something. Come this way. Say, rumor has it that you and Kaya... Well, uh... <clears throat> hmm. That's my goddamn business. Ah, that subject's a bit of a minefield. So, let's drop it. What do you want to show me, anyway? We're there already. This is the only place where you can really switch off. Feel how fresh the air is here? No drunks up here? No stupid assholes with their stupid, constant fucking pickup lines. Hey, cutie. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just deal with this. Buddy, keep walking. Oh, I, I, I just wanted to. Just wanted to get a kick in the head. I'm going. I'm going. That's more like it. All right, come on. I really don't want to talk to these assholes. Since the berserkers took over the fort, the number of assholes has really decreased. But there's still too many. A good friend of mine lives back there. Hello, Tyless! You prick. You guys get along great. The old fella sells me his junk at exorbitant prices. And if I badmouth him, he jacks the prices up some more. So 
I smile in his face and silently pray for his death. Better clean the dirt off your boots. We want to make a good impression. They're not that dirty. It's just a joke. There's only one time for cleaning boots. When you've kicked a few too many asses. <laughs> is that your specialty? There is no substitute for it when you need to bring recalcitrant staff into line. But enough of that. It's not far now. Here we are. Leave the talking to me. Halvar is a damn nitpicker, but I know how to handle him. All right. What do you want me to do? Listen and shut up. You here again? It hasn't even been a month. You remember the tin food and spices you gave me? That was, uh, let me think. 35 cans and, um... Good, you remember. I need the same shipment again. That's impossible. I'm in the middle of stock taking. Oh, who gives a fuck? Hand it over. My warehouse has clear procedures. I can't trust them. Pull your head out of your ass or you'll be delivering the stuff to the dealer district yourself. You want me to go among the common people? Don't ask. Do. What? Oh, all right, all right. I'll see what I can do. You're lucky. You don't have to carry anything. You can tell your Morkon he's getting the stuff. Knowing Halvar, he'll have organized replacement stock in no time. And my shards? No pack, no shards. I wouldn't have gone with you if you hadn't promised me shards. Ugh. I don't think I can argue with that. There, take this. Now I gotta get back before those idiots burn my place down. So long! The provisions from Chloe are on their way. Really? That's... that's amazing! I won't ask how you did it, just thank you. You know what this means? I can get all my stuff and finally head back to Caracas. Won't take long. Wait for me. Right, all done. You're coming with me, right? Yeah, I'm in. Great. If you've got anything you still need to take care of here, now's the time. When you're ready, give the word and we'll be on our way. I need your approval to become a warrior. Hmm. So you're serious about becoming a part of our community. I'm not sure I know what role you'd fulfill for us. Let me think on it. In the meantime, please deliver this letter to Fenris. What's in the letter? Nothing that concerns you. Why? He lives just around the corner. Why? Because I asked. It's an apprentice's privilege to carry correspondence. A letter saves me time and effort. Unlike my interactions with you, a warrior must complete all kinds of errands. How about you start doing some now? As for me, I'm off to conduct a little experiment. The results of which will determine the future of humanity. So I'll need some peace and quiet.
I'm supposed to give you something. Hmm. This isn't the first time I've received a letter like this from Tylus. I imagine it'll be about special permissions and Alexa. Between you and me, he's not technically entitled to what he asks for, but he'll get it anyway. Why's that? His unique skills are the reason our people are still alive. He tends to anyone wounded in action, after all. Irritating him would not be a good move, and certainly not worth the shards we'd save. Besides, he's not getting any younger. We need him to pass on his knowledge. If a little extra elixir means he doesn't dig his heels in, then it's money well spent. So you can tell him I will honor his request. I'm so glad I found you. Come with me, something's happened. It just happened out of the blue. What did? Tylus, he collapsed. I've had to put him to bed. This is bad. Real bad. I'm, I'm starting to fear the worst. Wake him up. Tylus, wake up! It's no good. I've tried everything. Well, I was supposed to wash the Alembics, and if I'm honest, I wasn't as thorough as I should have been. Tylus gave me the job because he wanted to work on the Panacea in peace. He mixed a potion in one of the glasses that I suppose wasn't entirely clean. He took a sip, then a second later fell over. And now he's here. He hasn't moved. Tried slapping his face? No. What if I hurt him? There must be a solution. A solution? What's going on? Your eyes lit up. What if we create a mixture that will reverse the negative effects of the panacea? What do we do? All I need is to work out what ingredients he used in the panacea. Could take a while. If you want to help, you could get me the plants we'll need for our antidote. The troll root will be the most difficult to find. But for someone who wants to be a warrior, it shouldn't be a problem. About the antidote. What ingredients do you still need? In addition to the troll root, I still need a few flowers. Red and blue. And garlic. Lots of garlic. Try asking a few merchants, or maybe looking in the wilderness. Take this list so you don't forget anything. Where do I find troll root? It only grows in very specific conditions. Right now, I only know of one place. You have to go to Troll Island, in the border area between Ateris and Caracas. Troll Island? Yeah. It's not exactly an island. It's a place that attracts trolls. Seriously, they're everywhere. Trolls? More than one? Are you trying to get me killed? It is dangerous, yeah. That's why I'm sending you. Nobody else could do it. And how am I supposed to kill several trolls at once? Calm down. We don't know for sure there are trolls. And even if there are, you might only meet one. Oh, well, that's reassuring. You don't need to fight the trolls. Just bring me the plants we need, okay? If you have to kill a troll, that's just how life goes sometimes. Anyway, you don't have to kill. You could just distract. Distract it? These trolls, their brains are very primitive. If the wind's in the right direction, carrying distinct pheromones, they won't bother you. I could create some bait for you, but I'd need ten pieces of meat to do it. Here, hook up some of that troll bait. Right away. It won't take long. So if you just wait a moment... Finished. Here you go. But remember, it doesn't make you invincible. It will just distract the trolls. Just lay the bait and keep your distance. Once they're distracted, you can grab the troll root. I have the basic ingredients. Take another look at the list. 
There's something missing. Well, yeah. I don't have to like it. Hmm. Black Lotus? Yes or no? Hard to say. Oh, no. See if that helps. That's it. Not a drop left. Good. I won't find anything else here. Back to Marwin. I have the basic ingredients. Good work. Just need the troll root now. I have the troll root you need. Perfect. I didn't want to have to go and find it myself. Now, I can use everything to make the solution. You're free to hang out here, but it'll be pretty boring to watch. It's not much of a spectator sport. Come back tomorrow and you can see how it's going.
done. You said I should infiltrate the Berserkers. What do you have in mind? That depends on what your rank is with them. Cultivator. We already have some cultivators giving us information. What we really need is someone who's in the warrior ranks. Come back when you've reached that rank. Done. That can't be true. Okay, that's done. Fighting fucking go be a cleaner or some shit. Stupid. Done. How could anyone do this to Scrappy? Him of all people. I heard he's got more than he lets on. No, I don't think so. That's just a rumor. Well, we'll see about that. You really are a nut job. <laughs> Always happy to oblige. Thank you. 
Done. That's it. Should talk to Yasma again. You were able to get Fenris's criminal records? You've succeeded where many have tried and failed. I've got a special mission for a talented thief like you. And there's something we've never seriously considered before. Who's the target? <laughs> Spoken like a true claw. It's Rat. This requires more skill than you may think. Rat isn't one to just hide a key or a code somewhere. His power is only as good as the people who fear him. He's got a safe and a chest in his tower. Each one contains a book. He calls them his blood packs. These books are where he keeps records of all the people who owe him favors. He also has some dirt in there. That's a weird place to keep dirt. No, not actual dirt. He collects any valuable info he can on people to use for blackmail. Once we have those books, we can expand our network very quickly. If you bring me those blood packs, you'll be very well compensated. But you told me not to bring stolen goods directly here to the hideout. For the blood packs, I'll make an exception. As soon as Rat realizes he's been robbed, he'll turn the entire fort upside down looking for them. That means our dead drops won't be safe anymore. We can't risk someone finding the blood packs in a trash can somewhere. So, are you willing to try and steal them? Sounds like it'll be tough. Do you have any suggestions on where to start? If I knew where to start, I would have already done it myself. The chest that holds one of the blood packs is right next to his throne. From what I know, it's practically unbreakable. You could try and get it open, but I don't know how good you are. The only other way of getting into that chest is by stealing the key from Rat. He always carries it with him. So you'll have to steal it directly from him if you can't get the chest open. Then you have to worry about the tower. It's rarely unguarded. You'll have to be patient. Wait for the moment when no one's in the tower. There's only two guards at night, and they're both smokers. You'll have to wait until they're both on their smoke breaks. Okay. So I either steal the key from Rat, or break into the chest, preferably at night when the guards are on a smoke break. Got it. But that's only for one part of the blood packs. You have to get both books. Just one won't help us. Okay, next you'll have to sneak into the basement of the tower, Rat's treasury. Look for a safe in there. You'll have to crack it. Rat's too smart to write combinations or codes down. And you'll never get the code out of him, no matter what you do to him. You got it? Oh, steal the key from Rat or break into the chest, crack the safe in the basement, and do it all without being seen. Yeah, that's everything. Now you know why no one's made it before. And if you don't succeed, well, you won't be the first. Only give this a go if you're absolutely sure you can pull it off. It isn't worth dying over. But who knows? Maybe you can do it. You've managed all these other jobs so far. We'll see. Good luck. I'm going to take off.
Too easy. Get yeah, out of just here. fuck off already. Done. Wait a sec. Is that what I think it is? Well, looks like it. Holy shit! You really are amazing! I... I can't believe it! I need to sit down for this. that good honestly it wasn't that hard <laughs> only an idiot would believe that I hope this is enough to pay you for your help I have to look all this over now I think yeah that's everything we needed from you you've done everything we told you to do you've expanded our network given us some leverage and put money in the coffers you even helped stymie the Berserker's expansion plans. If we ever need anything else, I'll find you. Otherwise, thanks for everything.